Halloween, uh, one of my favorite times of year. I just want to get in. My special is going to be, we're, I'm going to go through a bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to make it quick, but I'm going to give some Halloween recommendations of mine just for you to check out in case you haven't seen or read or heard some of this stuff, just to hear it and how it goes along with the Halloween spirit. Um, I'm going to first start off with music. Uh, Misfits, number one. Anything from the Misfits, anytime around Halloween, it's great to listen to. New or old, I'm personally a fan of all Misfits. I know some people like old stuff, some people like new stuff. I, I, I listen to it all. Um, the other special thing about Misfits is they're one of my favorite bands to collect vinyl for. And I collected vinyl before I collected video games. But um, ever since I've moved, I just don't like have the space that I want or the climate control that I want to actually keep records so I kind of quit buying them but I have some awesome Misfits vinyl uh, that I'd love to share but I, I left them back in Illinois so anything from Misfits to start off and I'm gonna go with a straight up another band just to listen to to get you in that cool kind of Halloween mood um, Skeleton Witch they're like a death thrash metal band uh, I just saw these guys a couple weeks ago. They put on a great show. It was a small local show, so it's good to see. I like to see bands that do that stuff to actually get out there and just play small venues because that's where it's at. That's where the crowd, you know, really gets into it. If somebody comes see your show at a small local venue, you know they really want to see you. Um, so I love seeing, like, you know, decently famous bands, small, small shows, but... I'm a big fan of thrash metal, and they, they really, really do it good. So go ahead and check out Skeleton Witch. It's a great listen. Um, the last band I'm going to recommend, I'm just going to recommend one of their albums because it's, it's like Halloween-themed, but AFI's um, All Hollows EP. It's, uh, it's very short. It's an EP. It's only got four songs on it. One of them's a cover of Halloween by The Misfits. So... But the whole thing's a great listen. It's it's short, but it's very, very good. It's old AFI, which is what I like. Uh, it's a great listen to. So, All Hollows EP by AFI. Check it out. Um, I'm going to recommend one series of comic books in this video. And it's the Ghost Rider Trail of Tears. Basically, all I have to say about this, it's a six-part series. Um, Ghost Rider around the time of the Civil War. So you have Wild West, Ghost Rider, Marvel Comics, superheroes, whatever. I'm fucking sold. Um, it's really, really cool. Go ahead and check it out. This was the coolest uh, cover art that I could find. It's Ghost Rider on his uh, stallion there. It has a... I thought it had a name, which I can't remember because I'm an idiot. But check that out if you want to. Good read for around uh, Halloween time. Next, I'm going to go with movies. Uh, the one movie I have a box to, Cabin in the Woods. If you are a horror movie enthusiast, you will like this movie. I know a lot of people didn't like this movie, like people on Facebook and stuff. If you, if you just see horror movies for the fact of just to like see a scary movie, um, you probably won't like this movie. You'll think it's stupid. If you're enthusiast about horror movies, like if you know what they're all about... Um, you, you'll you'll love this film if you're a fan of like monsters, supernatural, anything, or just uh, honestly the easiest way I can put this without ruining anything, it's a horror movie about horror movies. But it's not a documentary; it's an actual movie. I really really liked it. I met a lot of people that didn't, but if you like horror movies, just give it a chance. It's really cool. The next two, I watched these movies first on Netflix, so that's where I'm going to say you can still watch them. Although, this one, I just talked to my brother yesterday. He said it's not on there anymore. I don't know if he didn't look good enough, or he couldn't find it, or they took it off, or whatever. But Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is a more recent movie. 
It's one of the best Halloween movies you can watch ever. I think it's fantastic. It's a great movie. It spans a lot of different types of horror genres. It's a bunch of little stories broken up that all fall um, within the same world on the same night on Halloween. Um, and it just explores so much. It's so fun. It's got it's got everything you'd want out of a horror movie, uh, you know, in terms of just scariness and violence and just it's all around. It's great, and I really recommend checking it out. It's really really good. The next movie I want to talk about is a movie that I just recently watched, and I just watched this on Netflix, so I'm pretty sure it's still on there. It's a Swedish film. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Swedish. And it's called Rare Exports. And this movie is very, very odd. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a horror movie about Santa Claus. But it's got a lighter side to it also. But yeah, if that interests you, check it out. I thought it was really, really unique. And I thought it was pretty damn good. Um, it doesn't have that, you know, ominous, horrific tone throughout it, you know, but I, it's kind of uplifting at the same time. I thought it was really unique, uh, and it's called Rare Exports. Go ahead and check that one out. The last one, games. Oh, there's, I could go through a bunch of games and, you know, show you all kinds of, Unfortunately, I really don't have all the capture technology I need right now. Um, next year, I'm hoping to do something like James Rolfe from Cinemasker does with, like, uh, Monster Madness, except do that kind of in video game form. That's my plan uh, next time. In the meantime, I'm just going to throw out three quick recommendations of horror games um, or, you know, monster-themed. What? See, that's the thing is, like, there's so many games that I could consider for like or to play with cool monsters or they're actually scary or they're just fun to play around Halloween or Halloween themed but the first one I'm gonna go with is Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, this game is hard as ass but it's still fun to play and you know if you haven't played it you pretty much run around as a knight. Uh, it's really hard especially since you can't control the projector or trajectory of your jumps but Tons of cool weapons, tons of cool power-ups. Um, well, maybe not tons, but cool cool weapons, cool power-ups. Uh, cool enemies to fight. Cool levels. Um, definitely worth just sitting down and playing. The next one I have, Castlevania Dracula X. This game I know is not easy to find. The good news is you can get this on um, PSP. and It's called Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles, I believe. Uh, I had to put a Castlevania game in with all the monsters and cool stuff that you fight. Uh, that's what that's what I like about that game so much. Some people might think it's a classic. For them, you know, I never played that game growing up. But what keeps me into it is I really, really like monsters and like in in Castlevania, you just fight so many monsters. Like Dracula's the main bad guy. I fucking hate vampires. And I'll, like, to kill vampires or demons spawn in the night is awesome. And that's, like, Castlevania lives out that folklore fantasy for me of just, like, destroying, you know, hellish creatures of the earth. And just fucking whipping those bastards back into oblivion. So, I really, I really, that's what appeals to me of Castlevania. That's why I like them. And then the last one I have... Uh, Demon's Crest, again, another game not so easy to find, um, but it is, it's definitely worth playing, this game throws you into, like, an awesome boss fight right off the bat, um, lots of cool power-ups, lots of treasures and stuff to find that, uh, that, you know, in it help you along the way in the game. Uh, really cool adventure game, really nice controls and just like aesthetics in the game. Uh, definitely, if you ever get the chance, pick this game up and play it and don't get rid of it. It's really, really cool. Um, so, that's my Halloween recommendations. 
go ahead and check these things out. If you got any, go ahead and list them, which, like I said, game-wise especially, and movie-wise, there's so much stuff that we could talk about. I figured I'd narrow it down and make it as short as possible, but um, I hope you guys have a great Halloween, and uh, trick-or-treat.